Well, today we're going to talk about spiders, and first off, a lot of people are afraid of spiders, and <laughs> it kind of genetically makes sense. Everyone has is programmed, I think, for survival to be afraid of spiders, but we have some very good news about spiders in Idaho, the ones in the garden in your home, and that is that, except for the black widow, there is no medically important reason to be afraid of spiders. A black widow spider bite is something you need to get medical attention for, but there are no others in Idaho you need to get medical attention for. All right, the University of Idaho has a publication about the most common spiders that you find around the home and yard here in Idaho. And this is a nice guide because there's also some myth-busting information in here. So there are some that are more likely to be coming into your house those would be like wolf spider, they move fast, they're hunters, you might find hobo spiders. Uh, the one I have in this jar, which is hard to see here, is called the yellow sack spider. That's a super common house spider. Sometimes they look kind of transparent, and yes, a lot of these spiders could in fact bite you, but it wouldn't be any worse than maybe getting a mosquito bite, or maybe you forgot a bite from a ladybug. So when you talk to people who study spiders, you, they're going to tell you that all spiders are beneficial, even a black widow, because spiders keep other insects under control. And sometimes some spiders even eat other spiders. So it kind of all works out in mother nature, but they're doing you a favor. Even when they're in your house, you may find some along the floorboards, some little house spiders. And if you see their webs that are kind of messy, you, you see little gnats and fruit flies in there. So they're, they're doing a job. They're doing a job in your house. They're doing a job outside. If you don't want them in your house, you can make sure that you seal all the cracks around your windows and your floorboards. You can also apply spider barrier products that you can purchase as a homeowner or you can pay someone to apply them around the foundation of your home on a regular basis and that will help keep spiders away. Ah! New information that a hobo is no longer poisonous. We have a publication about it to explain it to you. So if it is a hobo spider, it's not going to hurt you. But it may be in your house and annoy you and scare you. People also bring in spiders that just tend to be really large. Some of the jumping spiders get very big and they're very fuzzy. Again, they move fast, so people find those to be alarming. And another one that we see a lot of samples come in about because it's kind of weird looking is one that we call a cat face spider. Let's say you find a spider in your house and you want to do the humane thing and move it outdoors where it should be living instead. So one way to do that is to find a jar or a vase, something that's clear so you can see what you're doing. And if you come up behind the spider, that's the best. Remember, they have a lot of eyes all over their head and you want to just clip that container over the spider and then use a cardboard or a newspaper or something to just slide it under. And now you can escort this little guy outdoors. is a jumping spider. They are super furry like teddy bears and two of their eyes are really big in the front like shoe button eyes. They remind me of teddy bears. So those are my favorite ones. Those are definitely ones that alarm people because they can get quite large and the fact that they jump kind of gives them a disadvantage in the likable column.